Having lived through the growth of Philo, we are confident that the good significantly outweighs the challenges. Whether it be having to teach him what an inside voice is, <laughs> to unlock the car when we are bringing home your brother from the hospital, and why it's not smart to shave your eyebrows at camp. <laughs> When I first saw Philip and Hannah together, I knew that he was not only with someone he cared about and respected, but someone who understands him and knows how to tell him what he needs to hear. She would have been helpful at preventing Philip from shaving his eyebrows at camp, or when he pants goofy at Disney World. The, the good thing is they have each other now, and Hannah will be able to stop any future moments of these from happening again. You have always been the very best role model. Surely mom and dad are so very proud. Like when you took your 16 year old brother to the boot to mingle with the drunken college crowd. <laughs> Luckily, your college boyfriend's ID was enough like me that I could get into bars as a minor. <laughs> but we definitely think you seriously upgraded and are marrying someone finer. <laughs> Uh, getting Philip to focus on minor things like putting cereal boxes away and making his bed may be difficult. When he finds something or someone he wants, he becomes laser focused. When you met Hannah, you knew that she was the one, and you became laser focused on obtaining the ultimate prize. Phil took it upon himself to call me and invite me to the Hamptons for Fourth of July weekend, telling me that I should bring a bunch of girlfriends to do a weekend ranger at his friend Jordan. And I obviously texted Hannah because I knew she would be down too. It was an incredible weekend spent hanging out on the beach, nights at John Scott's, and listening to Savio play his guitar. And by the end, it was clear that there was something special between Hannah and Phil. Shortly after that weekend, back in New York, Hannah invited Phil to her apartment. And as the story goes, he showed up with a change of clothes and a toothbrush, <laughs> and never left. I think he knew, even then, that this day would come. It has been such a pleasure watching Hannah and Phil's relationship grow since that summer, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for them. They complement each other, and you make a great team. I truly believe Hannah, you're the perfect match for my big brother. Aw. <laughs> Before I go, I would like to leave one word of advice for Hannah. Let him cry sometimes. He needs to. <laughs> to Hannah and Phil. <laughs> you look beautiful. I'm excited for you. So happy for you. Perfect. <laughs> Hannah, you are the absolute perfect person for our world. You are the game to Philip's yet. I see how you handle this craziness with ease. I've been dreaming of this day for so long. Philip, you made me a mommy, and now with Hannah, I finally have it. Our sis and our new bro, whom we love so ever so dearly, and we promise not to make you suffer through our four attempts at rhyming nearly. <laughs> or, 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 now you about grandkids, but that's their. <laughs> I've been hot mic the whole time, right? Check, check. I was Hannah nearby. <laughs> At any moment. My Hannah, you're so beautiful. I saw your book. You look amazing. I love you. I love, I love you. you. And that's two, two days. As many others have said tonight, being here is a testament to faith and destiny. If you had told me that I would be giving a speech at Hannah's rehearsal dinner when we met in 2010, I probably would have thought,
that tracks. But if you told me that I would be giving a speech at Phil Ratnowski's rehearsal dinner, when we met in the early 2000s, I probably would have done a double take. I'm so happy that you found someone like Hannah who appreciates the unicorn that you are. Loving fiance and brilliant investment professional. Philip, you're a very lucky man, and I've never seen Hannah this happy before. Hannah and Philip's love was instant. They gravitated to each other. And I think everyone in this room can attest the chemistry between the two of them has never died down. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot think of a better match for Philip than Hannah. Smart, caring, fun, and most importantly, patient. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you and Philip. Philip, I know you know how lucky you are to have Hanny in your life because she lets you watch YouTube math problems with her teammates. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what you guys say together. Hannah, despite the challenge, you can rest assured there will never be a dull moment with this one on the other side. I couldn't be any prouder of, of the first young man you've become. And your dedication to learning uh, and, and pushing further is really impressive and something we all look up to. And clearly it paid off uh, your smarts and found Canada. To feel the love of people who we love is a fire that feeds our life. Well, Phil, Anna, I hope that you both feel the fire's warmth not only today, but for the rest of time. Hi. My bride Hannah, we're not reading vows tomorrow. We wrote each other letters, so I got a lot of beautiful, sweet stuff in there. Um, <laughs> I just it. But the public thing I'll say is that meeting you was the best thing that ever happened to me, and it was the best day of my life when I met you, and besides tomorrow when we finally get to be married. So I'm so lucky. <laughs> We've all seen how you two are already united in your hearts. This ceremony will mark a new level of commitment that the two of you and all of us bring to your partnership. Philip and Hannah, your contrasting personalities really complement you. A world with only Philip and a world with only Hannah's would be a somewhat bizarre world. A world like the one we know with the two of you together is a colorful world a jigsaw puzzle in which the pieces fit just right. You two create a union that conceives of a new world of potential and possibilities. By this ring, you are consecrated to me as my wife. By this ring, you are consecrated to me as my husband. And now by the power vested in me by the Jewish people and the state of Louisiana, I can now say that you are a husband and wife as I bless you with the most ancient of Jewish blessings. I ask for the parents' help in wrapping the two of you with this beautiful new talus, one acquired specifically for this occasion as a new family heirloom. In so doing, your parents envelop you in the warmth and the love of this community. As parents, we are thrilled to have and found someone who loved all of her, especially her most quir quirky traits. Our love and respect for Philip is based <clears throat> on far more than his sharp wit or even his visits, our visits to New York or the vacations he's come to share with us. As we all know, it's how when one handles life challenges that can really reveal a person's true essence. It's whether how you handle a bomb going off in your girlfriend's street or her apartment building catching fire, or you're hosting her three brothers, and her parents are overseas in Israel. Philip's calm and capable manner, always tinged with an antidote of his wit, 
has consistently impressed us. So when Hannah and Philip got engaged just days before the WHO declared a global pandemic, and they escaped New York by promptly flying to New York, New Orleans for $24 each, and proceeded to live with us in Baton Rouge for the next four months, we had the truly good fortune of getting to know Philip far better than most future in-laws get to know a future son-in-law. Shortly after they met in the Hamptons, Philip asked him, how is it that you aren't taken already? Uh, Rachel, I feel blessed, Philip, you weren't taken already. We have no doubt that you and Hannah were meant to be. We are beyond thrilled you found each other, and Hannah is your wife. But don't forget, you will always be my baby girl. But I am. On different written occasions, unbeknownst to the other, they both expressed the nearly identical sentiment that despite spending nearly every minute of free time together for five and a half years, they always want more of each other. What a gift. To be best friends, that's what the rabbis of old described marriage to be, re'im ha'ovim, lovers and best friends. May that sense of wonder define your relationship until the end of days. Mazal!